At the data school this past week, we had an interesting question come up from a client. Essentially, what they were looking at was they wanted to know adoption rates for customers or for products or different things like that. So what I thought you'd show you in this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday was how you can create those types of calculations. So for example, I might, I might wanna know, first of all, the order that my customers adopted a particular product, or I might wanna know which uh, quartile they fall into. So which customers were the first quarter to adopt the product, et cetera. So let's build a simple example. I'm using Superstore sales here. And for this particular uh, example, what I'm gonna look at is uh, which states adopted the products most uh, or quickest, something like that. So that's kind of the question we're trying to answer with this visualization. So I'm just gonna start by creating a simple map and I'm gonna go ahead and make the mark type uh, filled map. <clears throat> and you'll see they're all just, uh, you know, the same color now, that's because I don't have any measures on here yet. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna know kind of what percentile do each of these states fall into? So I'm gonna call this a state order date percentile. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the rank percentile function. And what you can see over here on the left hand, or I'm sorry, on the right hand side, you can see and Tableau gives us an example. So uh, what Tableau does is it first ranks the measure and then it finds the partition that that is in. So I wanna rank the minimum order date. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanna do there. So I'm gonna do rank percentile, min order date. So let's go ahead and throw that onto the color shelf. And I need to compute this for each state or by state. And we can see everything goes from zero to one. So those think of those as percentages. So zero being the first. So Texas was the first to adopt, uh, the first to have any kind of sale and things like that. So then I can go ahead and I, let's, let's say I wanna filter this down to a specific category. I, I wanna know which customers or uh, in which order did, uh, did we expand into different states for furniture. So I can do that and now we can see um, Texas is no longer the first one. Let me just throw the labels on here and see if we can find the, the other ones easiest. So we can see right here, Kentucky is the lowest number. That means that it was the first, uh, the first state to, uh, to have any furniture sales. So hopefully that makes a bit of sense. So let's go ahead and turn those labels back off. <clears throat> so now what I wanna do, let's go ahead and pick all categories again. So it, when I'm looking at all categories, this is saying, uh, which state was the first or in which order did the states buy any products at all? So the 100% one looks like it's West Virginia. So West Virginia is the last state that we expanded into. Maybe you could think of it that way. Okay, so now I want to allow my user to pick either maybe uh, halves or um, tertiles or quartiles or quintiles. So I'm going to create a simple parameter. So I'm going to say uh, how, uh, let's see, let's see, order of, uh, or let's say, um, what would be a good name for this? Uh, let's call it uh, uh, something about buckets. So uh, we essentially wanna create some, some, some bins is kind of the idea that we're going for here. So I'm gonna make these strings and let's give it a list. I'm gonna call it halves, uh, tertiles, quartiles, and quintiles. Okay, so we get something like that. And let's let's call this uh, order of adoption buckets, something like that. Okay, so now we've got this uh, this parameter. And for now, just to make it easier for myself, I'm going to put it as a single value list. And as I go through them, you'll notice Tableau doesn't do anything. So I need to create a I need to leverage uh, this parameter in order to essentially what I want to do is when I pick halves. I want to know which which states were in the first half of customers to adopt and which halves, which states were in the second half. So I'm going to create a new calculated field and uh, I'm going to actually kind of build this all together. So we'll start with just the halves and I'm going to just call this order of adoption bucket or bin, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to say uh, if and then my order of adoption calculation. So this one here. Let's start with the halves. So let's actually say if, uh, or uh, let's not use a case statement because I find those a bit easier. Uh, I'm gonna be my parameter here. 
my case order of adoption buckets, if that equals halves, then I want to do this simpler statement. So if it's less than or equal to 0 0.5, then give it a value of 1, else give it a value of 2, end, and then we need to end our case statement. So let's say OK. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. And I'm getting, uh, oh, uh, I need to do uh, uh, when. There we go. OK, I'm messing up my statement here. Uh, oh, sorry, I did this wrong. Uh, so I'm going to do when half. So I'm going to do it like that. Sorry, messed up my syntax there. OK, so now I've got this new uh, bin here. I'm going to actually just make it discrete for the moment to make it a bit easier to see. So let's throw that onto. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave my uh, order on the on the um, detail. But let's go ahead and throw this field on the bins. And again, we want to make sure this is computing by state, which it is. And now I can see which states were in the first half of products to adopt and which states were in the second half of products to adopt. Now, if I pick a different option, you'll see it all goes to blue because, and it says no, that's because I haven't uh, put those into my parameter yet. So let's go ahead and add the rest of them. So I'm just going to kind of copy this because I know I'm going to need this to be repeated. Uh, actually, I just want this part. So I'm going to do next, I'm going to do my tertiles, if I could spell it right. And this time I'm going to say if it's less than or equal to 0.33, then 1, and then um, else if uh, it's equal to less than or equal to 0.67, then 2, oops, else 3. And then let's go ahead and repeat this again. And let's say this would be quartiles. And now I'm just going to say 0 0.25, 0 0.5, oops, don't want a double point there. And then let's repeat that again. Oops, I don't like when Tableau does that. Why does it do that? Oh no, I lost everything. Okay, so let's start over again here. So let me copy this. That's really annoying. Sorry about that. And uh, let's call this tertiles, tertiles. Okay. And now we want to say let's take seven is two. Let's put our else here. And sorry, this is a bit boring watching me type here. Uh, and then let's do the quartiles. Oops. And now we want to say 0 0.25, 0 0.5. And we want to do 0 0.75 would be a 3 and then a 4. And then our last option is when we have our quintiles. And again, this will be pretty similar, quintiles. So this should be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, uh, 0.8, and then this will just be 5. Okay. So let me expand this calculation out a bit here. So what this is doing, I'm looking at each of the options that are in my parameter. If we're in halves, we're just splitting it up into two parts. If it's tertiles, we're splitting it up into three parts, quartiles into four parts, and quintiles into five parts. Okay. So now as I go through these different options, you can see how the colors gradually get added. We get more colors. So you could make this this, this continuous if you want. I, I like starting it out as discrete colors because it's easier for me to see that it's working right. But I could do quintiles. But um, you know, we can see here that it, it gets a bit tougher to kind of see how the how the colors uh, work. At least it does for me, but it's totally your preference. I find it a bit tougher to see, you know, kind of what the difference between uh, four and five is and things like that. So um, I wonder what will happen here if I make this uh, stepped and I make it, uh, let's just leave it at five steps. It's probably not going to make much of a difference yet. So that's not going to change anything. Okay. So yeah, again, you can, you can kind of make that uh, any, any order you want there. So halves, tertiles, quartiles, quintiles. So that's just a quick way for you to look at uh, things like order of adoption. Uh, and now if we, again, filter back to just furniture, um, I'm going to switch this back to discrete just so we can see it a bit better. And we look at our, let's start with our halves. We can see which states were in the first half to adopt and which states were in the second half to adopt. 
And then Tertial shows us now a third. So we can see a third of them are in blue, a third are in orange, and a third are in red. And you can continue on like that. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, uh, do feel free to leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, have a great day.